two semesters ago. All, all uh, I'm, I'm not the one who taught you in relation to economics. Yetau? Yes. Yes. Sawa, sawa. So um, I don't need to do the much needed introduction. So I, I know all of you know me. And uh, as I had said from uh, the introduction bit, um, John Kindu, they have not changed my name. And um, we'll be looking at this unit called Principles of Auditing. And uh, before Itao and Faith had joined us, I was talking to Ileli and I was asking him of uh, what he thinks uh, principles of auditing means. Huh? And he was telling me that uh, auditing is, uh, is, is, is uh, a, a, a form of uh, investigation. And uh, from what I've given you, as you've seen, I've given you notes on this, the same thing. Thing is an independent investigation on financial of an organization. Eh? So when we be talking of auditing, we'll be talking of an independent investigation. And when we of investigation, it is called because done independent and we say that uh, it is an independent in in investigation of financial information of any entity. And um, the reason as to why we do this investigation is to know how the business records have been kept. Because in most cases, we don't, we not, we do not, we not, we not only check the financial information, we also check other records. Like uh, we have what we call quality assurance uh, audit. Sometimes an organization can be audited on quality assurance. We check matters of uh, matters concerned with the quality. So, but uh, the, the, uh, the important thing here is that uh, it is an independent investigation. Are you together? Faith, are we together? Yes. Are we together? Yeah, Am I audible? Can you be able? Are you in the S? Get out. Faith? I'm getting. Ah, uh, James. Yes, am I audible? Faith, get out. Can you hear me? Uh, investigation and for him to be independent we usually say that uh, one he must not be an employee of the organization because if you are an employee of an organization you are uh, you are you can be compromised because you know everybody yeah then uh, this particular person for him to practice almost hard practice in must be uh, selected in an independent way or in an independent manner. So that's when we talk of independence. And uh, independence is, okay, is very paramount when it comes to audit because um, auditors are some people who are very trust comes to take the truth. So that's the need of it being done by an independent person. Are you together, get out? Yes, are we together, get out? Yes? James? Yes. James, are we are together? Are we together? I'm unable to get you. I'm unable to get you well. Oh, the, the, there is some problem with the uh with the network is it on my side or in, on your side yes james on your I don't want to... side. on my side okay i'm on, on my on side, side. Okay. i'm okay yeah just just check on your the connection uh, on it's your side. okay now you're okay now you can hear me it's okay okay so, so it's out. yeah Get out on your side. How how are you? 
How is it on your side? Get out. It's okay, yeah? Yes, it's okay. How is, it? How is it on your side? I can't hear you. Yes? It's okay, it's okay my side. Yeah? It's okay on my side. It's okay. I can't hear you. Yes, it's now. Yes, it's now. Yes, Faith, welcome back. You had gone. I can see you returned. Welcome back. Yes, Masi, I can see Masi Manza is uh, joining us. It's how he's gone. What has happened? Okay. It's how, am I, uh, can you hear me? An independent auditor who is uh, given the authority to go and check the uh, books of account of an entity. And we say that uh, this can uh, be for, for the profit-making organization, non-profit-making organization. But what matters here is the fact that it is an independent investigation. And when an auditor goes on to do an audit, he has um, uh, something behind his or her mind. He wants one to see how the books of accounts have been prepared. And two, he has check whether the, um, the, the books of accounts have been prepared in accordance, in according to the accounting principles. Are we together? Yeah. Yeah, yes. we're together. So now when we talk of um, an auditor, auditing being done by an independent or, uh, person. Then when we talk of uh, auditing, far from uh, it being done by an independent person, this particular person who is the auditor is supposed also to give what we call a true and fair view of an organization. And when you talk of a true and fair view of the organization, he's giving an are the actual ways that what is really happening in an organization it will, it will tell us whether the money or resources that has been given to a certain organization whether they have been used prudently or not so that's when we talk of it being independent and in the sense in the sense of independence there is a uh, giving an opinion an auditor must give an opinion. Audit is not complete without the auditor giving an opinion on whether the books of accounts have been prepared in accordance to accounting principles and whether the resources have been used properly or not. That's when we talk of it. Then, uh, still on the same, when we talk of um, auditing, we are saying that uh, it is governed by some standards. In my definition, you see some uh, I talking of uh, assure, uh, assurance standards, ASS. You shall also see me talking of uh, uh, AIS, that is International Auditing Standards. All those standards usually uh, assist in ensuring that uh, the auditing has been done in accordance to the uh, required um uh expectation in, uh, in, in as far as accounting is concerned then uh we shall also look at uh, agency theory and auditing when you talk of an agency theory we are talking of an agency relationship when you talk of an agency relationship we are talking of a relationship where one or more individuals called principal chooses another person or an individual called agent to perform services on their behalf. And because of that, there, there exists some agency relationship in any organization. Like, for example, 
I am working for the university. And uh, in this case, I am working for the university. I am uh, an employee of the university. So I am an agent of the ZTEC University, meaning that I represent ZTEC. The principal here is ZTEC. I am an agent of them. So in everything that I do, I am supposed to be, ZTEC is supposed to be liable of it. So there is there exists some agency relationship between I and ZTEC University. The same case happens when it comes to auditing. There exists some agency relationship between the shareholders and the managers. The shareholders usually appoint the managers to manage their investments in a company. And therefore, an auditor comes to strengthen that relationship or to check as a check in that particular relationship to see whether the, the, the agent here being the manager, whether they have kept the books of accounts correctly or not. And if not, they advise on the correct mechanisms to be followed. So it doesn't talk of the agency relationship. And um, there, are, there are other several uh, relationship, as you shall see in your uh, uh, financial management. We have a relationship between holders and credits. We shall see an agency relationship between um, uh, the, the investors and the shareholders, the managers and the investors, several of them, and that's why we have it. Now we can ask ourselves, what is the purpose of audit? Why do we do audit? Yes, what is the purpose? I'm hoping, Getao, you can still hear me. Getao? Yeah, I can hear you. Why do they do that organization? Number one is for us to get some reports as to whether there have been some misstatements or whether there has been some misleading information. Also, they also help to conceal fraud and also to see some errors that could have been done in an organization. So those are some of the purposes of the, of the of the audit to one we say that to see to to see whether there are some misstatement or to see whether there is some misleading information and also to in contain some errors also it all helps to conceal some fraud and also to leave all the relevant information and i said earlier in the introduction the auditor are people who are very trustworthy. They are trusted by the people who use their information. So their word is taken like gospel truth. So uh, that's why we say that the statement should show a true and fair view. So that's, that's now an objective of auditing. So when the auditor is selected or is appointed to go and do some auditing work or to carry out some auditing work, what are some of the objectives that does he have to meet or does he aim in achieving? Number one of the objectives that um, the auditor or, or the audit must achieve is one, uh, to uh, sorry number one of the objective that the auditor must uh, meet when uh, they are carrying out uh, audit is to detect errors and fraud whenever an auditor is appointed and he's given some responsibility to carry out some auditing he has to one detect whether there are some errors or and fraud number two is to prevent errors and fraud. If there are no errors in an organization, the auditors can also give some evidence that will help to prevent errors and fraud. And the last one is to provide a spin-off effects. 
and services such as uh, uh, taxation and other services and other services yes sometimes the auditor they don't do, they don't only uh check on the how the books of accounts have been prepared at times they also help in in other services like they may give a device on taxation they may give a device on they may also give advice on maybe cons some consultancy on the strategies and organization can take they also help in creation of a uh, book of accounts so that's in talk of help in speed of um spin-off effects and also provision of uh, services that are, are there um i don't want to proceed more than uh, the point i have uh, gone at least you have a basis of what an auditor is or auditing is because i've seen several students have left and i know it's all about internet so i'm just requesting that uh, we end our session now and we address our issues in the group the work group after everybody has joined in we shall see what could have happened and what had uh, uh, and what we can do best more so come next week can you hear me get out yeah i can hear you get out. i can hear you so i'm just because i can see you are five you are the number has decreased